The government is now considering starting mixing different COVID-19 vaccines after two studies suggested that persons who received an AstraZeneca vaccine as a first dose boosted their immunity by receiving a Pfizer vaccine for the second dose. The study in South Korea showed that recipients had better results than those that had received two doses of AstraZeneca. This as the UK government promised to deliver over 800,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccine to bridge the country's shortage, as Sam Gituku reports. The country hopes to have fully vaccinated all the 26 million adults in the country by the end of 2022. This appearing like a mirage, given that five months since rollout of vaccination program, only just over 2% of the adult population has been vaccinated. Statistics show that 1.04 million people have received the first dose of AstraZeneca jab. Of this, 633,000 have received the second dose, the immune reaching a level that reduces chances of complications and death should they contract COVID-19. With the limited supplies of the vaccines, 416,000 remain without a second dose. At a time, only about 50,000 doses remain in stock across the country. A study in South Korea could turn the fortunes for the country. 499 medical workers participated in a vaccine mix and match study. 100 of them received AstraZeneca as the first dose and Pfizer as the second dose. 200 participants received Pfizer vaccines for both doses, while 199 received two AstraZeneca doses. The outcome showing that persons that mixed Pfizer and AstraZeneca jabs depicted an improved immune response by six times compared to those that got both jabs from AstraZeneca. The trials informed by search for an alternative after reports that persons that got an AstraZeneca shot complained of rare blood clots. The Minister of Health is now considering this option. And data has emerged that uh, if you uh, get AstraZeneca or any viral vector derived uh, vaccine, for that matter, as your first dose and then you get Pfizer as a second dose, you get a better immune response in terms of antibody production. And therefore, based on that, countries have gone ahead to be able to practice mix and match. And especially for us, because of positive vaccine doses, if you get a vaccine, if you get Pfizer vaccine, there's nothing that will stop us from practicing mix and match. Last month, a similar study in the UK returned similar results of success, showing that a mix of AstraZeneca jab followed by Pfizer produced best T cell responses and a higher antibody response than a mix of Pfizer jab followed by an AstraZeneca shot. The World Health Organization is, however, yet to clear the mix and match approach to vaccination, citing limited data. But Amoth says countries can make their choice. Even though WHO has given advisory that there is uh, little data to be able to guide, but the role of WHO is to give guidance. Member states are at liberty to be able to implement their own interventions based on their own local context. This as the UK government promised to send 817,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccine to Kenya in the coming days. Half of them will be shared directly to Kenya, while the other half will be through the vaccine sharing program, COVAX. The announcement came hours ahead of President Uhuru Kenyatta's meeting with UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson in London. Sam Kirikus Rizin TV.